Hey, it's Billy. And it's Pat. And we're giving you an update. And I'm wearing pajamas. I kind of am too. Every day. It's a casual update. We haven't made a sit down video in a while, so we said, yeah, let's make a video. And then we said, okay, what do you want to make a video about? And I said, I know, I know. What? <laughs> That's exactly what he said because no, we had no, no, no idea. No, 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 no. <laughs> so instead of doing a formal video, we thought we would just kind of spew an update at you. <laughs> We're pretty tired from doing a lot of projects since we moved in. To be quite honest, we literally unpacked our last big boxes like last night. Yes. They were in the basement, <laughs> hidden in a room. There were things in it that we weren't able to find around the house and maybe even forgot that we had. And I was just thinking that we need to empty these boxes so we know what we have and this room can be clear. Da -da -da. Two that, months later. This room is clear. Isn't that from Exorcist or Poltergeist? Great analogy for our lives. When we first moved in, we went like, crazy, I think, trying to do a million projects. We had some guests coming, we went nuts, and then we like totally crashed. We plateaued oh. for a while. I, don't, I would say it was a valley, it was, it was a deep, yeah, deep Yeah, it was not a valley. high plateau, it was a low place where we just were so drained and so exhausted. Like an ocean trench. Yes. A crevasse, Crev if you will. <laughs> a secret ridge. Mm, secret ridges. One of the projects that we've wanted to really be working on and we can't yet is our bedroom. We got the color we want, we got the paint. Um, but if you look behind us and you see there's like marks on the wall from where there used to be a valence. There's a lot of things in this house that are left over from like generations to generations. There's like 116 years of history in this house. So there's plugs and outlets and switches and sconces on the wall that we have to move before we can actually paint. Cause you don't want to paint and then be like, okay, a week later, hey, we need to move all these plugs now and rewire everything. Yeah. So there's a lot of like actual handiwork that we have to do before we can do the normal apartment aesthetic things that we used to do just to make an apartment nice. But yeah, now we're in this place where these projects can take as long as they need to, but you don't want to stall on them and you don't want to never do them. I don't want them to take forever, but, but they you also, they, they cost money, they take work, they take planning and coordination of the process. So the bedroom will get done, but we have to choose new lights and then we have to rewire things and we have to move plugs that are in the middle of the wall because apparently that's where plugs went in like the 1940s. Yeah, you so, need electricity, you just put a plug anywhere. At your head you just, Oh, right there, right, right in the middle of the wall. Sure, that makes sense. Let's, let's stick a plug there. But I mean, other than that, owning a home is great. Yeah, and we've had a really good summer actually for, you know, it went really fast, number yeah. one, yeah. but we got to the beach we tried to go every other week for a while. We yeah, did. Yeah, we our social game was. Yeah, on par we kept with our it going game. because I said, I'm like, if this summer ends and I don't go to the beach, and it was a dry summer, there was no rain. Yeah. Up until like today. Yeah. Um, we had a drought, so like going to the beach was necessary, and I feel good as like a Long Island, East Coast beach person that I really got my like beach in on Lake Erie. So I needed that. I fulfilled that. I'll do my end of summer goodbye to the beach, but it's been a great summer. I feel yeah. like we've. We've, We've maintained a, lot a good in. balance, yeah. and that's why we'll probably be dead by fall, but it's been great. Something that is exciting though, coming up though, is we're going on a little trip, which will be a nice sort of unofficial end of summer. Yeah. Uh, for Labor Day, we're going to Los Angeles to visit some friends, and then we're going to a bachelor party in Palm Springs, which will be hot. Mm -hmm. Literally and probably fun too because we'll be at the pool the whole time, but it's gonna be like 112 degrees or something like that, so yeah. uh, rest in peace us. P.S. No earthquakes, no fires, please. Rest no. in peace, us. Theme of this, <laughs> theme of this video. I'm already like, <laughs> I'm already in that like ditch. A crevasse, if I'm you will. In the crevasse. <laughs> let's just, let's wrap this up. We've been talking and talking, but I do want to say thank you to everyone that's been commenting on our videos and you've all made it very clear to us and I appreciate this when you say, don't make a video if you're not gonna be happy, if you're gonna be stressed. You've heard us talk about this in the past and you all were very supportive of that. These projects we're doing at the house take a lot of energy and they're not that fun to do. They're fulfilling to do, but to put, add a video and yeah. do that, it just, I don't wanna be angry on camera. It's hard enough to do the actual chores, let alone throwing in recording a video while you're doing it. To I mean, slow down the process of yeah. doing a project you wanna get done. Yes. So thank you for understanding. I will get we'll some videos. We'll try to do more. We're gonna pick some fun ones that we can do. It just, they haven't been fun yet. They've just been a lot of like, you know, 
If you want to watch Billy sweep the basement, wow. Yeah. We can make a video Install about that. Install a one. dehumidifier. Whoa. Whoa. Sexy. Amazing. Wait for that thumbnail. Wonderful. Great. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Wait till you see my man cave in the basement. Circa 2000. Get your lava lamps ready, kids. We'll see you there.